hello viewers you're welcome to fell vcg world youtube channel once again this is another year year 2022 it's going to be our year of supernatural multiplication in jesus name if you are new on this youtube channel don't forget to subscribe in order for you to get update whenever we upload a new video and to all our subscribers we say thank you for always keeping in touch today we are going to learn how to calculate ls factor of rosu model for calculating soil loss and we are using unistream power erosion and deposition method for calculating this this method uses the raster calculation between the flow accumulation and slope of watershed or area of interest the map of your area of interest this method gives l as this and uh, the parameters of l are defined also it gives s as this and here are the parameters of s defined don't forget i said we'll it, the method uses raster calculation between the flow accumulation and slope of the watershed area. That means in today's tutorial, we are going to generate our flow accumulation map and map of uh, slope map of our area of interest. And as a result, we will now use the raster calculator in calculating the ls after generating the flow accumulation map and slope map in the raster calculator this is what we'll be inputting that is the power as you know that at the end of the equation the equation is raised to power of m and for s it is raised to power of n and our n is an adjustable value depending on the soil susceptibility to erosion so our m is giving us 0 0.4 while our n is giving us 1.4 now because it is raised to power we are going before in our raster calculator we shall be clicking on power then the flow accumulation map generated multiplied by the cell resolution of the digital elevation model i will be inputting divided by 22.1 which is the unit plot length then raised to power 0 0.4 which is our hem then that is for l which is now multiplied by the power of sine of our slope map we are going to be generating multiplied by 0 0.1745 divided by 0 0.09 which is the slope gradient constant raised to power 1.4 and multiply by 1.4 so let's get started launch your ArcGIS and add your digital elevation model so this is the digital elevation model of the study area i want to add the map of my study area in order for me to clip out the area of interest okay this is the shape file of the map of the area of interest so i'm going to clip out this i can either use extraction or clip so in my act tool box click on act tool box and go to your spatial analysis tool so on spatial analysis tool you are going to click on extraction so you extract by mask click on extract by mask tool to clip out area of interest input raster which is our dem then input raster of future mask data which is the map of the area of interest 
sorry i just save it i always have a folder i keep my work but unfortunately i've just done that okay now this is the area i've extracted out i can now remove this since it's no longer needed so the next thing to do is to calculate the flow accumulation and the slope to calculate the slope accumulation you start by calculating your view calculate the flow direction then calculate the flow accumulation in order to calculate the flow accumulation under special analysis tool click on hydrology and click on fill tool input your surface raster which is our dem file which is the extractive don't forget i forgot to rename it so now extractive and uh, you give it a name and i'll leave it as fill extract one so okay now the map of fuel has been generated to calculate the flow direction under hydrology click on the flow direction tool input a surface raster which is your fuel extract and uh, give it a name i'm leaving it as my flow direction Now here is the flow direction here. This is the map of the flow direction. The next thing to do is to the next thing to do is to calculate the flow accumulation. So from this flow direction, I can now calculate the flow accumulation of the area now input your flow direction raster which is our flow direction raster we have generated and give it a name which is flow account i just choose to leave the name the default name you can also you can always give it a name and save it in a folder of your choice so click ok So we now calculate. Okay, we've been. This is the map of the flow uh, flow accumulation. The next thing to do is to calculate our slope. Now that we've been able to calculate our flow accumulation, to calculate the slope, still under special analysis tool, click on surface. then click on slope tool you input the raster which is the dem the first um extra the clipped the, uh, the area we clipped out which is extra i saved by extract and don't forget the slope it should be in degree so under your output measurement option, you have to set it as degree. You can as well set it as percentile, but for the method we are using, the slope is required in degree. So that's what I will be. So, sorry. So that's all. Then you give it a name. I'm leaving it as a slope the default name it brings now this is the slope map of the area from these two raster uh, file that I've been able to generate which is the slope 
accumulation, I mean the flow accumulation and the slope, I can now calculate the LS. To calculate the LS, still under special analysis, you go to your, click on map or Gibra and click on raster calculator tool. Based on the formula given earlier, which is this, we are going to input all these in our, in the raster calculator. So, looking for power. So, power, that's the flow accumulation multiplied by the resolution don't forget it is the resolution of the of the dam which is 30 meter your own could be different it could be five meter it could be one meter it could be 90 meter depending on the resolution of the digital elevation model uh raster you're using the resolution so my is 30 now this that divided by 22 i think 22.1 22.1 which is now raised to power of 0 0.4 then multiply by if you look at the formula again the s is 0 0.1 so sine of that so so don't forget to add power again so power then this time around it will now be sign sign of one point i mean zero point zero one seven five multiplied by our slope map that we have generated then outside it, it is now divided by, I want to go and copy. So, raised to power 1.4 multiplied by 1.4. So let's check over again and see. So flow accumulation multiplied by 30, which is the meter resolution. I mean the resolution of the digital elevation model multiplied by 22 divided by 22.1 raised to power 0 0.4 and the power of sine 0, 0.0 multiplied by our slope divided by 0 0.09 raised to power 1.4 multiplied by 1.4 okay i think we're good to go now i can name it as my ls factor ls factor ls factor okay okay now we have been able to generate the ls factor so here is the ls factor map of the study area i can change i can classify it so we have the lowest value to be zero and our highest value to be 50.77 which is the stretch but i can classify it and i'm classifying it based on let me, let me give it a natural okay i want to classify it into eight places you can classify it based on anything you want i want it to be a kind of geometric interval okay i want to select a color ramp for easy and then a uh, representation so let me choose a color that i think will be best in representing Okay, 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 okay. Oh, sorry. I think this is better. 
and um, okay now here is the map of our ls factor thanks for watching this video this is the step by step of calculating ls factor of Rosu model for soil loss equation so if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and your comments at the comment section will be responded to thanks so much for watching